quick announcement before the video. We have a podcast. We've actually been doing it for a couple of years, but now we're gonna start talking about it. Yeah, you guys, links below to our podcast. We do a video podcast, and also there's an audio podcast if you wanna listen to our beautiful voices. It's great. Yeah, it's called The Bro Show. Everyone who listens loves it and thrives, and it makes their life better. Amanda Vines loves it. Huh. <sighs> Hello, it's Jacob here, and this is my brother, Luke. And today is a big day because we each have $20, and we're gonna go to Target. $25, you, you had it wrong. And we're gonna go to Target, our local Target center. 15 minutes on the countdown. Who can pick the best items for show and tell? Ha <laughs> You never okay. seen this before. Three, two, one, let's go! Ah! Ah! I hit my toe. I actually did. Oh yeah? It wasn't even like an Amanda Vines Amanda show moment. Wait, should we go to the doctor? Yeah. We are so dedicated to this challenge. We rushed to Target, like almost ran over a few peoples. Get out of the mother effing way. We're doing a YouTube video. Influencers are above everyone else, above the law. When we get pulled over, they know who we are, so they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Once we arrived to Target, we swore on something I never knew I would swore on because it's so highly valued. Mm, mm, mm. Do you swear on a sweaty used thang from Victoria's Secret? Cause I do. Pause up. Do you swear? I swear. Me too! If you want to be an influencer like us one day, wear a mask. We go to parties with 350 people there, but it's okay, cause we're masked up. It's officially started. I grabbed one of those cup things that you hold, and we are off to go! <laughs> Let's do this! I felt so rushed. I was running into people. There was someone with a baby in a cup. I accidentally tipped it over and I ran away. It was scary, but I tried my best. I don't even know what I'm looking for. I started off in the beauty section because I figured Jacob would need some of this stuff. I ended up getting him a little thing of Vaseline petroleum jelly. Spoiler alert. Ew. First off, I went to the food section and I was like, there's nothing good here. I, I, I've ate everything because I'm so rich. I can go to anywhere and eat their food. But then I went to the cleaning section and I was like, okay, what's worth showing and telling in the cleaning section? Literally nothing. Jacob loves children's toys, but unfortunately all of them were way too expensive. In this economy, they're charging way too much. I almost punched myself in the face because I was so mad at myself. I am just now realizing that $20 isn't a big enough budget. Like, everything's $10, so then I could only buy two things. I wanna buy like 12 things. I was so overwhelmed by all of the choice. What is even going on here? Everything was below $5 in this section and I got off in this section. Conspiracy time. Batteries are so expensive. I never knew this, but they are so expensive and we need to stop this. Um, yes, even though we were so dedicated to this challenge, I I had three minutes left and I texted Lucas I couldn't find anything and he said you have two minutes left and at that point I overwent the time. So I did lose the challenge, so you get to slap me across the face now. <laughs> I went to theater school, so I know how to make like fake slaps. It looks so real as the I know. thing. To them, they're probably just like, did he just hit him? Oh! <laughs> it is now Wednesday. We went to Target yesterday, and it's time for show and tell. Do, 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 do. So yeah, when your mom and dad made you, they had to dry, gyrate against each other. And then, that created you. Even my parents gyrated to have me. Okay, the lesson is done. I know you've been waiting for this Jim Bob Lucas Kentucky Fred 
back in Hawaii, um, Amanda. Yes, teacher? Today is show and tell! <gasps> oh my gosh, yay! Let's do it! Oh, Jim Bob Lucas, Kentucky Fred, back from Hawaii. Amanda, you left your jewel on the table. Oh, your CBD vape pun, sorry. <gasps> oh my gosh, thanks for reminding me. I could never live without that. Woo, second grade! Yeah, I hate this job. Total though, we spent 54, and then with tax, which we didn't include in the challenge, it was 57. We only went a couple dollars over, 25 each. That's fine. I'll just have to ask my mom for the seven dollars. Our mom, I mean. So, who wants to go first? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Um, rock, rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Uh, uh, okay. Did you uh, love show and tell growing up? Because that, that, that proves that I'm, I'm a natural extrovert. Because I remember dying in preschool, like, please be my turn, because I just wanted to show everyone. Oh, I, I, I love show and tell. Yeah, so you wanted to, like, speak in front of everyone? Honestly, I think I like when people show their stuff more, though. Oh, that's a Britney Spears is right. There's two types of people in the world, ones who entertain and the ones who observe, and it all starts in preschool show and tell. First of all, for show and tell, I have a bundable figgle. Wait, that looks just like the thing we were talking about the other day. People used to wear this on their shirt. Oh, flank something. Yeah, that little monkey man. Put in the comments if you know what we're talking about. What section was this in? The dollar section. Literally just, it's just a bendable figure. That's, that's the whole point. It literally says features, endless fun. <gasps> make it sit, make it stand. Make it do any positions you wish. Bend them, shape them, pose them. There's technology and shit, but at the end of the day, we still just want to bend things. This is fun. This monkey's doing the flips. The splits. <laughs> the flips. Can it do it this way, though? Oh, he's not. Oh, he is. Wait, can you actually bend it anyway? I feel like he's getting loosened up a bit, you know? Camera guy. Why does it have those effing dots on the bottom? So I'm focusing on it. Like, whatever. I have 26 years into YouTube and I still don't know how to use the camera. It bends, but I wish, you know, I think it, maybe it gets more loose as you work with it. We should have a contest and see who could, who could can create the best show. Oh, I'm... Okay, that was mine. Okay. That was cool. Yep. You can have it. You can have it. <laughs> you can. Okay. What's your name, kiddo? Um, my name is Luke. Um, and yeah, let's see what I want to show first. Oh, okay. I actually didn't get that many because I bought more like expensive items. So there's only a few. This right here is hand sanitizer spray. But did you think I'm gross? But Jacob, he's really into essential oils. Do you think that works over medicine? This is lavender. Hand sanitizer made with 100% essential oils. Someone in our family had a terminal illness and he kept telling them just rub lavender on your palms. And they're like, it worked. They died. But it worked spiritually. So I just thought this would be cool so you can protect yourself from the virus and also be relaxed because lavender has calming effects. But lavender makes me go to sleep. What if I doze off after oh, yeah. this? Yeah, I remember one time I watched a Justin Bieber, Haley Bieber live stream and he smelled a rock that had lavender in it because he had anxiety. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> It reminds me of being in a psychic. I've only been to one psychic, really? but when I went to that psychic, she had so much essential oils going on. This reminds me so much of Massage Envy. Oh, oh. when will the panty be over? I want to get rubbed I saw in a non-sexual way. I saw this guy getting rubbed, like just a massage, but it looks so satisfying. I know, like this just reminds me so much of Massage Envy. Oh, it smells like that. You walk in, everyone's so relaxed and just, Ugh, and then when you're done with the massage, you almost feel like high for an hour. Cause you're just like, oh my, my brain just isn't working, but in a good way. I could drive around for that hour, listen to ocean sounds. I know, and you'd cry, but it wouldn't be sad. You'd just be like, I just feel so human. I know, it's like, I'm thankful for this moment in this world. I don't know if I'm even here. Mentally I know. Or physically. I'm just temporarily in this human body suit. <laughs> <laughs> I hate shit like that. <laughs> 
Like, that way, I like, shit like that. It's like, I mean, like, I get it, and like, it's it maybe it's real, but like, it just keeps me out. <laughs> I gotta say, that smells damn good. I'm gonna be going around Target and spraying this in everyone's face and hand, saying, "Use this." You know, but you should make me really stressed. Like, say, like, you're gonna die. Oh, okay. It's all done. Stop. Stress. 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 Did it work? No, it actually smells like a cow wash, but <laughs> um, I like this. Is it? So is it like a gift to me or is it just? Yeah, it's a gift to you because I know you oh. have um a lot of stress in your life. I know you want to you don't want to talk about it with them, but it's okay. They don't need to know. For my next show and tell, it's something that the whole class can enjoy. Oh my god! I know we haven't shown the rest of the class, but there is a whole class of other other eight year olds here. Oh well, for me this is at a preschool. Uh huh. I have Kindle Joy. So these are little chocolate things. I've never had them. Neither. But I've always wondered about them. Everyone talks about them. The Kinder Joy. They're so good. Easter, but it's like. I don't know anyone who's ever had one, and I never have. Oh, I think these were banned in America for a long time. Are you joking? Because it was, no, because the FDA or something like that was like, we don't want something that like is edible that has something inside of it that's not edible. But then finally they somehow got around it. Oh. This is interesting. I feel like I'm on another planet. I know I've never ever done this. Oh, do you see what they did for the Americans? It's already broken. Oh, the FD upping A. Oh wait. Okay, there's like a, a toy on one side. The other side's like a pudding thing. Oh my god. It's this little like creepy animal. Oh, like a dinosaur thing. Cream. What is this white stuff? Cream. <laughs> I wanna try one of these balls. This cream is good. Try one of the balls. It tastes expensive. Oh my god. Oh my. This is luxurious. Wait, so is it an Easter thing? I didn't know any of the stuff you were saying. Like, this was banned in the US. I swear to god this was on Shark Tank or something, because how do I know that? Why are Kinder Eggs banned in the US? The FDA, no, actually the FDCA prohibits Kinder Eggs, because they have non-food items inside um, like uh, candy. And then in 2018 it said, Americans can finally buy Kinder Eggs just not the ones they want. Cause this isn't the real authentic Kinder Egg that the other countries get to enjoy. So I'm making fun of it, but if if I was alone and you weren't with me and I had the authentic Kinder Egg, I probably would choke yeah, that is almost a, die. I mean, you saw, I could barely even get the ball out without making a mistake. Americans, you know, like we probably shouldn't have that. That was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Educational and good. I know, did you learn something today? <laughs> okay. Um, this is another food. Craigie Pop Drops. They're natural, drug-free, and doctor recommended. The natural way to ease morning sickness. We should give this to our sister. Yeah, our sister is pregnant. And she had, um, <laughs> she had morning sickness. So uh, yeah, I got these for you because I know you like are really into pregnancy and stuff. So I thought you just want to have a little, little, um, you know, every now and then you could have a little pop drop. I have a shrine in my room dedicated to pregnant bullies. Specifically the belly button. So do you want to try one for everyone or no? Yeah, for later. I will try one for everyone. Right now, Does I- Does your stomach hurt from the Kinder Egg? No, I I actually feel great. I feel, I'm gonna say a nine out of 10. The reason why I'm not saying 10 out of 10 is because in another world, I'm like laying by a pool, which I'm not doing right now. Oh yeah. This is like complicated. Oh, great Americans. <laughs> That's the whole theme of this video. <laughs> I'm taking one. Like a cough drop type thing? Yeah, these taste good. Damn, what flavor did you get? Oin. Natural flavors made with essential oils. Essential oil boy is <laughs> hell. I know. I have to finish it, I'm sorry. Hold on. Wasn't that funny if I spit it out? No. It's good, I just... It was too much time consuming. Well, like, I'm not playing it. Yeah, that's true. Next, I got something that is kind of homophobic. Oh, I love that. I know you're gay, but I got you a gift. What would you, a gift? A cow. Okay. For your wife. Oh, cause you want me to turn straight. No, I just got this because. You prefer me straight. I feel like you should have a wife. Oh, hi. The future is ours, but today, is yours. The only thing I like as much as celebrating us is celebrating you, my incredible wife. Happy birthday with love. And then Jacob handwrit, dear wife, you have big titties. I, Smiley face. So I'm not straight either, but I pitch you that's what they would say. Thank you so much. I feel like we're like going into problematic territory, but I'm done for it. Um, I also went to the card section, so we were thinking alike. Great minds think alike. You remember that one point in Target where we saw each other kind of and you like sped walk so far? 
happened. You were walking in like the personal care section. I saw you look at me and then like you walked away so fast. I was like, boo, I'm not gonna sleep. <laughs> I don't uh, know why you see my gifts or my show and tell items. So I know you don't want to tell them, your audience, about um, this, but I just got you some um, Valentine's things to give to your special someone. I There's, don't have a Valentine. No, but you can hand them out to people at the gym. Cause you know the gym you said, that gym you go to without a mask and you said, there's this one guy you like. You can give yeah. that to him. I don't think he's gay though. Look at these though, they'll turn him gay. You're so appealing. And it shows a banana peel. <laughs> taco about awesome. It shows a taco. You're totally grape. Instead of grape, but it shows a grape. <sighs> And I relish you. And it shows a pickle because pickles make relish. I will take your advice. I'll hand this to the straight guy that I'm attracted to at the gym. Okay. You could also just like hand these out around your apartment building. People want to get Valentine's. That's true because it seems like a lot of people are lonely as a Yeah. Because everyone's married to robots. Thanks. No problem. My next item for show and tell is kind of a game. Oh! Baseball for three effing dollars. Oh, that is a deal. Cause I told you I was in the toy section and that shit is expensive. Yeah, this was only three dollars. Just so everyone knows, I know you can barely see, but this computer is first base. This Lucas's chair is second base. My chair is third base, and the tree is home. Ah! I won. Oh my fucking run, slut! You get to go again. Oh. Uh, your face, turn. my John. Uh. <laughs> All right, I'm actually trying. <laughs> oh, oh, ah! Uh, you won. One against one. Well, let, let, let's do a game point. Okay. Uh. I was trying to hit you in your fat face. <laughs> ah! You won. Congrats. Is that your leg? Like? No. That was a great game. Damn, that was exciting. No, thanks and for getting it. It doesn't break anything because it's so light. Honestly, if you want to DM me and promote it, I would. We'll be the spokespeople. Hopefully. Um, this was the big spending item. Should I just show you it? Yeah. So this one was $15. It took up a big portion of the 25. So it is men's diapers. First of all, I was gonna get diapers and I knew Jacob wouldn't want to use that. It's a whole diaper. Who wants to a diaper? This is a little pad thing. You put in your undies and it catches the pee when you pee. Cause I know like you pee a lot. So I figured this would be good for you to just put in your underwear. And if you ever do have to go pee, let it out. The pad absorbs it. Does it actually absorb the pee? I mean, I think. Cause my dream is to live in a world where I don't have to get up to go to the pee. This actually says it's for drips and dribbles. So I don't know if it'll soak up like a full on piss. Because I want a full on piss in these. Oh, so you'd stick this sticky side to your underwear. And then this would be where the piss would drop. Wait, why doesn't everyone wear these? Just to get I know, just a drip. little drip. Should we pour it and see? Oh, I don't feel anything. Oh, yeah, like that's not bad. It would probably soak it up. Oh. Try more though. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a big piss stream is kind even of more then, difficult. Even then, like feel the back though. It hasn't gotten to the back. So you could do a little bit of a piss. Yeah, it even soaks up the waddle. Yeah, so if any one of you guys has a dribble problem, Target's got you covered. There's 58 of those in that $15 packet. So you can wear one of these for all day. Yeah, you'd have a two month supply for $15. I mean, thank you. I I don't know if I'm actually gonna use it, but in the future, Road trips. when you age, like maybe my bladder will get less drunk. You get dribbly. Really? Means a lot. No problem. Like a lot. My next thing is actually rotten at this point. But I'm still gonna try it. Ew, what is it? You didn't refrigerate it? Yeah, I got these quitty peas that are pickled. I wanted to try them for this video, but- Are you sure it has to be refrigerated? They were refrigerated. I don't think anything bad would happen, but I, I don't think you're recommended to eat them. Oh, it says keep refrigerated. Do you wanna try one still? Um, I would smell it. I've heard like, don't listen to expiration dates because our noses have evolved to recognize that something's not, um, good anymore. Isn't the expiration date so then the company doesn't get sued? Yeah, let's see. Let's see if our noses have evolved to see, is this expired? Can I, is this safe to eat? Okay. It's most totally fine to me. I don't get any vibes. Oh, I want to try one. This is no. interesting. So is this edamame at like sushi restaurants? That is good. This is a good snack. Because I love pickles, but this is another level. Fuck it. Let's pickle people's dicks. Damn. Thank you so much for exposing me to that. No problem. I only have two more left. How many do you have left? I only have one more. Oh damn, so you, you, what was expensive in your bag? 
Nothing really. Um, <laughs> this is the one I already spoiled in the beginning. It's um just a little tub of Vaseline. So you saying how dry lips or what? Um, I just feel like. Um, I just feel like everyone could use a little bit of Vaseline Petroleum Original Healing Jelly in their life. If you want to use the code Lucas at checkout on the Vaseline.com website, you'll get 2% off and I'll get $5 for each time you use it. I just want to let you guys know that I do profit if you use the code. I'm not hiding anything. So you just included this for the ad? Yeah, they, um, recently I got sponsored by them and they own my whole life. I accidentally signed a contract and I have to mention it every time I'm on camera, so. Or else they literally said to shoot me. Okay. Well, well I, I like it too with that. Yeah, here you go. Well, then this video has to be an ad now. It is an ad. Everything I'm in is an ad now for Vaseline. Okay, well, thanks. I'll use it on my lips. Do it right now. Skin. No. Show an application. Do it right now. <laughs> Why don't you want to? I don't want to. A kid's toothbrush, but the the toothpaste is flavored like natural apple. Oh! So first of all, you can give it to one of the kids in the class, but second of all, we should try it. Jacob knows that I don't brush my teeth, so just trying to you trying to get me to do it. You don't like the mint or whatever? Yeah. I was trying to find a Cinnabon flavored one, but I couldn't find it. I just always tell Jacob, like, back in the caveman days, did they use toothpaste? No. So like, why would I know? Back in the caveman days, they didn't moisturize their face, but you do. Yeah, they did. The toothbrush looks pretty dandy. Cool. Did you have to go to the hospital when you were little because you drank, ate toothpaste? But didn't mom have to call poison control? No, I. What was it though? I think it was toothpaste. She called poison control and they were like, just leave him. But then like, <laughs> now you're kind of like off. So is it good? Yeah. Um. No, it honestly, doesn't taste like apple. Oh. Oh, I'm not even trying to be a it dramatic ass. It tastes like apple. This reminds me of when you're a little kid and you're sick and your mom forces you to drink that flavored ass Tylenol. It's supposed to taste like grape. Oh. When you try to make these things taste good, it's so gross. That was the first flop of this whole video. Well, that was my item, so that's mean. Um, to me. This is my very last item. So a little bit of backstory on Jacob. He doesn't like drinking water. He's kind of a sugar person. The gushers are always in the back Only of Only on the video we just said I always be. Oh, <laughs> you're like a gusher kid. Always gushers floating around your teeth. Chocolate up in the molars. One of my classics is putting my finger in the back and just getting out of the gushers out of my back. So I got some watermelon drops and this is for people who don't like water. You add this to your water and it makes it taste good. Yes, yeah, so. Just add a little bit to your water. There's some water in here. Oh, from the smell of it, I thought it would be way stronger of a scent, but it's like those waddles that are flavored like barely. Like, oh, they barely are? Yeah, just in the background there's some watermelon. Like stuff. a LaCroix. Mm. It says made in Beldrum. Okay. Now I like it. Okay. Have you seen that girl on TikTok? It was okay. No. Never Wait, mind. that's all a joke. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> did you have another item? Oh, that's literally it. So oh! We're done. Show and tell is over. I rate this experience a 4.95 out of 5. Yeah, it was great. If you ever want to do show and tell in your adult life, feel free to do it. It's just good to get a little bit of attention. You know, you have someone listening to you, you're showing them, you're telling, and gives you that boost you need. I would recommend getting three of your close friends together. Each pick one item, we did multiple, but pick one item in your personal life that you really want to just show people, basically brag. Talk about it and have a show and tell night. If you're going on a date on Tinder, before the date say, hey, let's both bring one item. It just shows us a little bit about each other. Yeah, and then you can talk about the item for hours. I yeah. can talk about this for hours, these Kindle joys. On the first date, just like bring a taser. Or just bring your cat and say, yeah, I've had this cat since oh, I was yeah. seven and well, super close, so if you don't like my cop, then I don't like you, so. Bring a family member's ashes. Yeah, there's so many options here. This was fun, class. Thank you guys for coming along. Subscribe to Lucas, subscribe to me, and peace out, bye. Bye, broski.